This is, this is for my wife. <laughs> so, is, it, is it recording? No. Ah, okay. She's a little bit suspicious. I can't tell why. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have to bring evidence to every place I'm coming, so she will know I, I was actually here. Okay, sorry. Hello, everybody. My name is Yaron. I'm the CEO of Nostromo Energy, and we didn't come here to fuck spiders. <laughs> Did you get it? If you don't get it, you, you, you must be on the other side of the pocket animals. Can you say pocket animal three times in a row without a mistake? I can't, but we love pocket animals. Uh, we came to Australia uh, because we were invited by Trevor, a uh, thousand, that actually spotted us um, uh, half a year and a half ago. And uh, we found um, these three months very, uh, very interesting to meet the Australian market. What we do in Ostromo, other than spider thing, we developed an ice storage thermal and modular energy cell. What does that mean? I hope that in the next few minutes you'll understand. 60% of demand at commercial buildings is due to cooling systems. The grid is suffering heavily from cooling demands that being answered by electricity. Now, if you would like to pour more electricity into the grid, you need to constantly enhance the grid in order to push this, uh, not only on the production side, but on the delivery and the distribution side as well. This is crazy because the peak demand itself will occur for less than 400 hours annually. So for less than 5% of the time, you will constantly build new power planets. In China, they are building every two weeks a new coal power planet because of the rising of peak demand. 20 to 30 gigawatts every year. India is 5% air conditioned and it's going to be 60% air conditioned in the next 20 years. This is, it will cause a disaster in trying to meet the, um, the demands for cooling. So if you combine this to the, the global warming, and the cooling, the needs for cooling, then you uh, think about water as a mean for energy storage. Water, when they change phase, are the most um, powerful um, natural resource, uh, only second to ammonia because of very, very high latent heat, meaning that if you want to melt ice, you need to pour a lot of energy into it. So it's very potent material. But until today, there was uh, energy storage cell that could actually use water in order to manage demand on the customer side. We are talking about demand side management, meaning we are on the customer side. We build our system as an extension to the building, and we ca it can be used on the, on the rooftop, on the floor, uh, leaning to a wall. It, it is totally, uh, uh, in, uh, totally compatible with the commercial market and takes zero uh, commercial real estate space, which is the pain point of uh, energy storage on the commercial uh, side. We have a great team. Together, we have more than 300 years in this life, at least this life. And um, our CTO was for 20 years the CTO of, of Ormat. Ormat is uh, one of the biggest um, geothermal turbine companies in, from Israel. This is Nadav Amir. Um, we gathered here to bring back the Ice Age. No, no, okay. What we accomplished till in the three years of the company in the last three months, we, uh, we, gained, uh, we got a half a million dollar grant from Shell World Dutch in order to uh, research the resilience of our cells. We are very rigid. Our cells have, will have zero degradation over 10 years of usage at least. Uh, if you talk about uh, lithium ion, you have 40% degradation after 10 years of usage, and you need to replace them. We are totally uh, physical um, procedure, not chemical, so the water don't age. You can freeze water and melt them a million times, it will stay the same. The next thing, we raised $4 million as um, our seed round, and $1.5 million as grants for um, demonstration systems now being installed in Israel. I'll show you in a moment, and the uh, uh, next one will be on the East Coast 
of the United States. The first commercial system is being installed these days in, um, uh, on, on the roof headquarters of Electro MND. Electro MND, MND is the biggest HVAC um, um, uh, company in Israel. Um, and like you, uh, as you heard from Ariel, uh, thank you for the uh, invitation. Um, uh, we and Monash are uh, co cooperating in uh, putting or uh, uh, getting the resources in order to put uh, first system integrated in their microgrid in order to uh, make the first research here by um, a university about the impact of water on the grid. Um, so we have just, we, I, I will show you just a few pictures that were taken actually yesterday morning. We used the internet in order to send these uh, clips into, uh, in, so we, we download them. It's, it's an amazing, uh, you need to try it. If, the internet will succeed, I'm sure. It, it's, a, it's a big thing. So our cells are uh, used as a block. What you see here is the cells were situated uh, near the rim of the building, so that can hold a lot of um, weight. Uh, so the, 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 the roof in most um, um, commercial buildings is neglected. You don't use it for anything but for, for equipment. So you can put your, um, your cells there. Every, you, what you see here is 16 cells. Each uh, group is four cells, actually. Uh, 10 ton hour each cell, meaning you have about 200 kilowatt hours equivalent of lithium ion batteries that can supply cold energy straight to the cooling system uh, using water, without using any uh, electrochemical uh, solutions. Thank you very much for listening for all this. Thank you. Thank you.